We beseech you, O Milo, give us answers to bless our quest against the necromancers. The foul tower is close to these lands. Let's end them with our own hands. Give us now so that we shall prosper, be it beast or tools or or uh, foods like lobster. <gasps> We've been blessed. Mighty Milo has granted us some tetrahydrate and a holy anvil. Uh, what's up, clansmen? Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Holy cow. All right. So we got seven peasants here, but they're not just peasants. They're on a holy quest. Let's take a look at our, our expedition leader, a tour here. A tour worships Milo, Milo, who is often in the form of female dwarf and associated with duty. Perfect dwarven clerics is what we have here. So, and they were they were just recently blessed with an iron anvil and a tetrahedrite. We're gonna get started. Let's uh, let's take a look here. We got no creatures on the map, so that's good. And we kind of just have this flat area that drops it down, 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 down. Okay. So kind of let's zoom a little. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just probably just. Hmm. What, where shall we start? So, first thing, we have to uh, break down the wagon. So let's uh, get some woodworking. You, sir, shall be Elder Wood Dwarf. Nice. And we're going to need a mason, architect, mechanic, and stone crafting. And you shall be Elder Builder. Awesome. Oh, we also need somebody that can burn some wood and do some metal smelting. Elder Metal Fist. Nice. And so we don't starve to death out here. Let's get a Elder Gardener. Perfect. And there we go. Pick up some plants. Put a food stockpile right here. There we go. Here's the trick. Here's the pro tip. Scroll, scroll. Go to stone. Right here. Enter. Scroll, 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 scroll. Tetrahedrite. Make sure it turns green. That enables it. So now we can use it to build with. And we're going to need a wood furnace. Use that tetrahedrite. Let's go. Actually, put a uh, meeting zone here since we're moving the wagon. All right, almost have that built, and there we go. And so we're gonna make some ash, some sweet ash. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh man! All right. I'm working on that ash. All right, got one ash, so we will make a smelter with it. He's working on making the charcoal. We have our builder over here. All right, got a smelter. One charcoal's done. Let's see what we can do. Cool, got two charcoal done. So, let's get rid of that wood furnace. All right, and now that the wood furnace is down, we're actually going to smelt that tetrahedrite. So we have two charcoal, we're gonna use one and the tetrahedrite. One charcoal left. All right, all right, and there we go. Copper and some silver, nice. Awesome, and we have the Metal Smith's Forge. Use our anvil and use one of those copper nuggets. 
So that leaves us one charcoal and a good amount of metal bars. All right, got some, uh, we'll designate some trees here just to get ready. Perfect, so we got our metalsmith's forge, weapons, copper, battle axe. Make it with our last piece of charcoal. We'll get a wood furnace, getting that ready. Use another copper nugget. And then our wood dwarf, yeah. Go pick that, pick it up. Chopping down some trees, there we go. First tree's down, so we will make some charcoal and a still with one of the logs and a carpenter's workshop. One of those logs. And so that'll give us a charcoal. We still have a piece of copper left. I'll let you take a guess at what we're going to make. Copper pick. Awesome. We're going to need an elder digger dwarf. And they're going to dig out this. Oh, we also need somebody that can brew. Brewer. Elder ale beard. Oh, there we go, making our pick. Milo has blessed us indeed. Awesome. So we got our still up. Need to get that carpenter's workshop going, else we're going to be drinking some water here. Got any animals on the map? Uh, Kestrel and some, and some raven. Digging. Awesome. Let's crank out some barrels. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to have to dig down, aren't we? There's too much sand here. But that's good. We can make glass. That's awesome. I think one of the first things we're going to need to do is carve up this hill a little bit. We're a little in it. Too much. There's one barrel for the plants. Yeah, we're going to throw a... a throw channel down. Awesome. Oh, almost got some stone. The good thing about sand is it'll uh, increase Yarrow's stats. She is feeling satisfied. She's 77. Short, narrow ears, very flat, long hair, double braids, clear voice, rust eyes, or wide set, narrow chin. Awesome. Who do you worship? Cast. Associated with art. And you worship Mass. The free muffin. <laughs> uh, uh, freedom, birth, family, children, pregnancy, marriage, oaths, and loyalty. That is one busy deity. Oh, man. All right. <clears throat> Got ourselves some stone. Build a mason's workshop. Get that stone moving. Oh. All right. Got our first free barrel. Let's start cranking out some booze. And actually, one thing we can do... Where'd our thing go? There it is. Let's so we have two silver bars left. Let us charcoal, charcoal. One, two blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get some tables and chairs. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go down one more layer. Eh, maybe two. <clears throat> oh, these dwarves. Clerics of each god. Mm, we're getting some booze. We got three booze.
Needs an empty storage bin. You got bin barrels right there. What the hell are you talking about? Alright, plenty of alcohol. Start digging. Hurry up. So we got the charcoal, let us, weapon, silver. Oh, nope. Battle axe, battle axe. Just in case. Oh, what do we got here? Some tetrahedrite. Awesome. Yeah, can't finish our tables and stuff because we don't have any stone because we keep digging sand. Let us go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And I actually need to go and turn off Tetrahedrite. Because he is making a throne out of that. <laughs> ah, that's good though. We can one, two, three, four, five. We can smelt that Tetrahedrite, actually. Already getting in the middle of workshop. So, let's talk about game plans. First rule, we get undead hordes are awful. And I'm actually pretty sure we're at war with the goblins as well. So I just want an awesome trap, weapon trap hallway, just to watch their body parts just get destroyed. Um, so we gotta get into metal early and quick. Uh, looks like we already have metal here, so that's gonna be easy-ish, pretty easy. All right, got some stone pretty quick. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, right? So, getting to weapons traps, I think that'll be great. Um, and then we can set raids out. So we're here, and here's the tower down here. So, pretty close. And we're also at war with the goblins. Um, so it should be, <laughs> should be a fun one. Uh, we'll have to start getting some cool holy names, priests and clerics, and we'll probably need like a pope or something, right? What is this? Clay loam, still not deep enough. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So we got some charcoal. Let's. Smelt that tetrahedrite. Let's start going on that. Okay, so we're probably good on booze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven beds. Yeah, we're already at 70 drinks. So let's one, two, three. So we're already. This is just temporary. Set them up real quick right there. Let's haul on that tetra. He dried up that oh, 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 Can I get a bloody whale barrel? I don't want to bring it all the way up here. There we go. Got some beds going already. One, two. So this is just temporary housing while we dig down. In fact, we got some copper. Weapons, copper. A pick, and we'll get another... Elder Digger Dwarf. You're just eating plants right out of the field. Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. Oh, people are starting to get hungry and, and sleepy. So we need... I will build a quick little area and I'll be right back. Alrighty, just a little tunnel. Have our uh, trade depot here and then this will be our hall of traps. We can extend it out to here if we need to and then we'll just have our first little entrance hall. So, should have two diggers pretty quick. Copper pick, there it is. Can you wakey wakey and diggy diggy? Can we dewey dewey that? All right, and seeds are the worst here. Boop, I'll throw all your seeds over there. You forbid seeds. Oh yes, new dwarf gonna go dig. 
Okay, let's start moving on this. Start cranking out the charcoal. Let's go. I need you to do a lot of deforesting. Mm. I'll actually do it by our house. Yeah, over there. There we go. Now we're plowing through it. Oh, here it is. Gold nuggets. Well, that's not going to make some weapons. <laughs> Shoot. But we have copper and silver. That's pretty good. Oh, yes. Leveled up to a miner. Coming along. So I had them dig out the lower part first just so we could dump this garbage in there and get our first little temporary home set up. He's just cranking out the charcoal now. We're cutting down most of the forest here. And we're gonna send out raids and kill some necromancers and it's gonna be awesome! And we're gonna need to make temples to each god, some grand mausoleum, we have large, big plans for this place. If we survive the war and the undead and, you know, just general stupidity of dwarves. One, two, three, four. Let's make it out of Kimberlight. Making our first weapons. I need a mechanism shop. Out of blocks, and we're going to plop down a trade depot here. And I do have those metals, I'm just gonna sell them probably. <laughs> the metal work that we're currently making, just to make a quick buck. I gotta have something to trade. We're not really making stone or wood crafts right now, so. Oh, some migrants! Oh, you silly bastards! One, two, three, four. That's pretty good. Mr. Dancer, you are going to be our keeper of records. Record. And we're going to have the highest precision. And you're going to be our broker. And you're going to be our manager. And you can sit down right here and just, just work right, right away. Just... <laughs> Just, just get her done. Awesome. Who else did we get? We got this peasant. We'll make you stoneworking, architecture, mechanic, and stone crafting, and you'll be a builder. And who else did we get? A planter. What do we need? What do we need? We need a furnace wood burning and you shall be a bar maker and you're just gonna and I did get I'll put a stone stockpile here just for metal crafts and I made some wheelbarrows so hopefully you'll start hauling that junk up who else do we have wax worker and you shall be a smoother well, we're almost almost got our haul done here. So you just start smoothing here. Alright, gonna start plopping down some uh, workshop areas here. You can kind of see our hauls already dug out. Gonna start bringing the food from up here down there. Not gonna be using this area much anymore, especially once we get those workshops. And then my dirty seeds out here. Ugh. Ugh. Radish. Ugh. Alfalfa. Ugh.
Awesome. So we're actually smelting some of those gold bars now. So we're going to make some crap so we can trade. A gray langer has stolen one of the splints. Look at this guy. This guy's taking off with my, with my wheelbarrow. What a jerk. <laughs> oh man, we need to get a quick army up. You damn monkey. He's running away back and forth too. There it is. Oh, stole a splint. You bastards. Ugh, the great monkey thief of... What year are we? 2050. I guess I could introduce the fortress. Just, <laughs> just right at the end. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Holy vision. Awesome. And we are the citizens of the Orb of Seals, so they're under uh, under uh, at war with the goblins. The Angelic Standard. That's the name of this group. So it should be awesome. And I'm also thinking with all this gold, we'll probably just have like a a combat. Oh, the bull and the the monkey fought for a minute. Um, what was I saying? Oh, we're gonna get with all this gold. We should make a uh, like a gold coins, just like a treasure room. Should be awesome. I mean. We'll call it sacrifices or tithes or something to that effect. I don't know. We'll make it work. But guys, that's how you uh, that's how you start with just either copper nugget or tetrahedrite and an anvil. That's how you get going. Um, I think I'll probably stop here. I'm pretty rusty on making videos, everybody. <laughs> so I appreciate you. Uh, going through my corny intro and uh, just watch this video. Hopefully it's a little entertaining for you. Uh, be sure to sub and comment down below. Love to hear what you guys think on it. Um, have a good one. God dear shit.